This video is part of our ongoing series of mixes on the OpenTX platform, typically used on things like the Tyrannus Radio. Now, we only tend to do these kind of mix videos for those questions that we get a lot of, or for those questions that comes from one of our patrons. Now, I need to say a big thank you to Bob W, who asked this question. Bob W is not only a subscriber, but also a patron, so I need to say a big thank you to him for supporting us here at the channel, and we're going to answer this question of Bob's, which is, he wants the crow, which is where the ailerons and the flaps operate in opposition to act as like a big air brake, to happen automatically at low throttle. So we're going to show you, Bob, how that's all set up, and hopefully this will be interesting to other subscribers too. So we've set up a model here, and let me show you how this actually works. So channel one here is the aileron and channel two is the flaps. So the aileron is controlled left and right by the aileron control and uh, switch A is turning the flaps on and off, is dropping the flaps down. Now what we want it to do is as I reduce the throttle, as we get past a certain point, we want the ailerons to go in one direction and the flaps in the other, but we still want control over the ailerons, which is what that is. And then as I go back above a certain level, the crow turns off and the throttle, which is channel three, continues. So as we go down, throttle goes past a certain point, the crow comes on and then continues to get bigger and bigger as the throttle increases. So let me show you how we've done that because it's actually not as difficult as it first appears. And this is just one way you can do it in OpenTX. With pretty much everything you can set up in OpenTX and the Trans Radio, there's several different ways of doing it. This just happens to be the way that we are. So if we go first of all to logical switches, this is how we're going to detect when the throttle is below a certain position and know that we need to do something about the crow. So we set the function to A is less than X, so V1 is less than um, V2. So what we're set testing is whether the throttle, the throttle value is less than minus 50. Now remember zero is the middle throttle, minus 100 is the very low throttle, plus 100 is high throttle. So this is about 25% throttle, which if we simulate it again, should turn on about there, and it does, that's 25% throttle, super. So what that does is that just activates L1, which is just a logical switch, essentially doing the same thing as us flicking a physical switch on the radio, which we could use for Crow, and in fact we've used in one of our other videos to set that up. The other thing we need to do is add something that L1 is going to turn something on in the mixes. Now we obviously have channel 1 and channel 2, that is our aileron, that is our flaps. So there's our two normal flap settings, flaps up and flaps down, controlled by the SA switch. And we've just added one extra little bit. I've called it A crow for auto crow. So all I've done here, I double click it, I've said that make the source the throttle, because that's the value that we're interested in, but have it turn on and off using the L1 switch. And what I've done, I've just set a weight here, so not all of the throttle is coming through, because you don't want everything, you just want a little bit. So what happens is, as L1 turns on, it activates this, and it passes 30% of the throttle through onto this channel. Similarly, in this one, we have exactly the same setup. This time, though, I've done minus 30, because I want these controls here on the flaps to operate in a different direction. So by doing those two things, that means then as I reduce the throttle, as I get below 25%, L1 comes on, and then L1 then mixes 30% of the throttle into those two channels. So as I then take the throttle down, what I'm doing is I'm actively breaking the model. So Bob, hopefully that answers the question for you. Thank you very much for asking the question, and thank you very much for being a patron of the channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.